A cheap ass hundred dollar dinner. The dinner was a hundred and fifty dollars to be yourself. And now you want pussy? Your Balenciaga is cost more than that. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the true. Forget to marry life, I got better. Things. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get my videos as soon as I put them out. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if it feels like I'm talking about you, you need to check yourself. Nigga, what? If you want the music to the intro and the link to my second channel, both are down below in the description. Go over and look at my second channel, all right? Today, we're going back to the reaction videos. I'm going to be reacting to Brittany Renner in a part of a G DJ Academics interview where he tells her she's a side chick and explain how guys think when women are side chicks. Next, we're going to have a guy gets finessed on a date and the girl has her phone out recording it the whole time. Like, why is guys falling for this? Then we have a streamer. A Twitch streamer complaining about guys wanting to smash. Like, why are you guys, why are women on the internet anyways? It's to have guys thinking they can so they can make money. And then the last video is going to be a, just a little skit when a guy asks his girl to see her phone. But for the first video with Britney, let's get to it. What makes me a side chick? Because the, what, I'm beautiful? And no, because what? the one who everybody fucks but does a wife. That's the side chick. Sorry. So who have I, who, who have I been side chick? You wrote a fucking book. Who have I been a side chick? But I was never a side chick. Well, when you write well, a book about having casual sex, about. and by I've the way, not before. one of them claimed you. We assume, you, you know why men don't claim women? Because we have our real girl that we don't want to tell about you. You know that. And he's right. The reason why Britney feels like she wasn't a side chick is because she don't feel like she was scraped, scrapped. Especially to PJ. Majority of the guys that Britney have came across have been guys that have been in love with her. That have trying to pursue her. So she never thought that she was a side chick because she never had to pursue the man. I'm sorry, but I think you've mistaken me for someone who would speak to someone like you. When a woman is pursuing a man, she'll place herself in the side chick category if he's not budget. This is why women chase the guys that don't want them. If you look at a side chick, a side chick is always chasing the man that don't want her and the wife and the girlfriends become competition. But when you're dealing with a woman like Brittany, Brittany is the aggressor. She waits for the guys to come to her and then she aggressively takes over them with her looks, with her emotions and how she moves. A lot of these guys are blinded by her nature because girls like Brittany, right? When you get around them, you start to assume she's a 304. You start to assume she's been around. These guys aren't dumb. They look at the blogs. They know who she is. But when they are alone, that's when women like Brittany Reiner do their best work because they convince the guy that all the guys before them have been bad and that's what caused them to be bad. She already knows that this is going to leave a chain of reaction through a mind, through the brain of the man that likes her. He's going to say, all those things I've seen about her are bad. Now that I'm here with her, she's a different person. I don't see all that stuff I've seen on the internet. It was all those other guys fault a woman main objective for manipulation is to convince you that you're the good guy and all the other guys are bad that's why like the guy that hangs around his mom auntie and female cousins you never get any women because they convince you that you're the best guy in the world and every other guy is bad and then you turn on men and then your life just goes cahoots with women you get it the more perfect you are, the less they want you. Women want the guy to have women. They don't want the guy who's trying to worship them. The nicer you are to women, the more trauma you're going to go through in relationships. All right, let's get to the next video. Okay, the next video is going to be a guy gets finessed over a date. Let's see what happens. A cheap ass hundred dollar dinner. The dinner was a hundred and fifty dollars to be exact. And now That's you want pussy? Cheap. Your Balenciaga cost more than that. Come on, man. I did not say I want pussy. My question is, how is guys still getting caught up with women like this? That's the part that I don't get. How are you guys still getting caught up allowing women to talk to you like this? Trying to downplay you. Trying to talk to you like you ain't nothing. How do you allow that to happen? I keep trying to tell you guys. 
When you're dealing with women, women always practice hypergamy. If you work at the post office, you better start aiming for women that work at McDonald's. That's just the world that we're living in. Women are in a hypergamous mindset, which means that if she can get the same amount of money that you can spend on her, then she's never going to have respect for you. If you make more money than the actual money that she can get, then hypergamy kicks in and she starts to play a role in order to be nice in order to get to it. Now, when you start becoming successful, that's when you start seeing this game. That's why older rich guys that have money, that have the yachts, that have the fancy cars, they don't mind having a young chick on the side because they understand hypergamy. They understand, I give her this, she acts like this. I give her that, she acts like that. When you have millions, you can play the game with a woman but when you're the average joe just running around you can't play this hypergamy game with a woman because women are gonna always want more the more desperate you show the more she's gonna i mean i'm sorry the more you treat her like a celebrity she will treat you like a fan and that's what you just seen in this video all right up next we have a twitch streamer complaining about guys trying to smash online are you kidding me that's how you guys make your money. Hey, can I smash? These comments never make sense to me. It's like, what are you gonna do? Shove your d through the computer screen? How is that going to work? Like, are you gonna fly me out? Are you gonna fly me to wherever it is you live? Are you gonna drive over here? Like, how does that even how does that even work? I don't understand why people say that. I just don't feel like you're actually committed to the smash. I feel like you're just talking shit. You're just saying things. You're just talking on the internet. You don't mean it. Come on, come over to my house. Come on over here. I dare you. Are you gonna show up? Huh? I'm waiting. TikTok, time to I understand the sarcasm behind the video. That's just a woman who's comfortable. It's kind of like us um, YouTube creators. You know, we make a lot of misogynist videos, even though we're not that misogynist. But then some days we're like, hey, guys, you shouldn't hate women as much as you hate women. And then we start talking about how you guys have to better yourself. And then you guys are like, hey, what are you talking about? We're supposed to be disrespecting women over here. We're supposed to be doing that. That's kind of like what this situation is with that woman. All right, she's a Twitch star. She got her boobs out. She's constantly being seen. She knows that guys want to sleep with her, but this is how women make their money online from YouTube, Twitch, all of that. They're either going to have their breast on the table. They're going to have something that entice a man. Look at how many women are coming into the manosphere and they use their body in order to lure your attention. You're going to their channel thinking that you're learning something about women and it's better enhancing you, but you're just going there because a lot of these women look good and they're showing their body we're in a world now where sex is going to sell for the rest of our lives because it is the oldest profession alive we're never going to stop prostitution we're never going to stop women from being hypergamous it's something that has always existed which is why a lot of you guys you got to get rich you got to drive the bins you got to have the nice watches so you lure in the women Women know what you're out here stunting for because if you ain't stunting for them and you stunting for a dude, it's a different ball game. All right. We're going to get to the last video, which is just going to be a skit of a guy asking to see his woman's phone. Her reaction, priceless. Hey, baby girl. Hey, can I see your phone? Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm going to look through your phone and search everything. You trust me, I trust you. You trust me, right? I do. Okay, leave me in the head. All right, let me pull up this Amazon Prime account then. My what? Your Amazon Prime account. I tried to look in that. I don't understand what the Amazon Prime account thing was about. Maybe she's buying stuff and sending it into them. If you guys know what let me see your Amazon Prime account means and why the skit went that way, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think about these reaction videos. Do you like these reaction videos better? Or do you like when I'm walking around with my dogs better? All right. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.